Hi everyone, this is Inside Tech from the Korea Herald. We are Song Suyeon and Shin Jie. Today we are here to talk about smart homes. These days, we can see a lot of news reports featuring smart homes, but not many have concrete ideas about what they actually are. So we ask, what is a smart home? Let's break it down into three elements. First of all, we need a house, obviously. This home is then filled with smart home appliances. Then comes a network connecting all the devices. A smart home has some various features. You can unlock a door by entering a password using a smart band or scanning a fingerprint. You can also control the indoor temperature, air quality, and lighting, and even call up an elevator from anywhere with your smartphone. A mirror can turn into a display showing information. You can enjoy a movie with a TV wall moving backward automatically. To make a home smart, new technologies such as transparent displays and biometrics are needed. Then comes the smart appliances. Samsung is hoping its refrigerator will become a central platform to receive voice commands, order groceries, and offer entertainment features. LG has introduced its hub robot that serves as the main platform controlling other devices such as vacuum cleaners and air cleaners. The smart appliances come with the latest technologies. They can be controlled simply by voice commands. Objects are connected and communicate with the sensors and chips. Artificial intelligence allows objects to learn user habits and surroundings through collected data. Last but not least, comes the 5G network to connect all the smart devices at a speed that is about 270 times faster than now. Despite all these features, smart homes also face some challenges and questions. Firstly, hackers can access personal information stored in devices. Second, products from different companies may not be compatible. For example, LG's hub robot is yet unable to control a Samsung Electronics TV. A recent PwC survey showed that 81% of 1,000 respondents said they are familiar with the concept of a smart home, but with 74% of them saying they currently do not own a smart home device. Moreover, 23% of them said they would not buy one down the road because of the cost. As we step closer to actually being able to live in a smart home, we ask, would you want to live in a smart home? Subscribe to see more of our upcoming videos and leave your comments below to tell us what you think. This was Inside Tech brought to you by the Korea Herald. Hope you enjoyed it.